Sridhara Somanath, an eminent Indian aerospace engineer and the current chairman of the Indian Space Research Organization, has long been a respected figure in the field of space exploration. With a career spanning decades, Somanath has played a pivotal role in advancing India's space capabilities, helping to establish the nation as a major player in global space exploration. However, it was during a recent interview that Somanath made headlines for reasons beyond his professional achievements. In a candid moment, he expressed his belief that extraterrestrial beings may have visited Earth in the past, a statement that has sparked widespread discussion and debate. Given Somanath's scientific background and leadership role, his views carry significant weight in the global space community. It was during a recent interview that Somanath made a statement that surprised many. He suggested that extraterrestrial beings might have visited Earth in the past. This remark, coming from a figure of his stature, has generated considerable interest and debate, both in India and internationally. Somanath's statement was not made lightly. He acknowledged that the idea of extraterrestrial visitation has long been a topic of speculation, often dismissed by the mainstream scientific community. However, he argued that the vastness of the universe and the relatively short span of human history make it plausible to consider that advanced civilizations may have developed elsewhere and potentially visited Earth at some point in the distant past. Somanath highlighted the importance of keeping an open mind and considering the possibility that humanity's understanding of history and the cosmos is far from complete. He suggested that ancient civilizations would only have to be 10,000 years more advanced than us, and they would be able to travel vast distances across the cosmos. The question of whether extraterrestrial life exists and whether it has visited Earth has fascinated scientists, philosophers, and the general public for centuries. The discovery of exoplanets in habitable zones around distant stars has only intensified this interest, as it suggests that the conditions necessary for life may not be unique to Earth. From a scientific standpoint, the possibility of extraterrestrial life is considered plausible. The sheer number of stars and planets in the universe, combined with the discovery of extremophiles, organisms that thrive in extreme environments on Earth, suggests that life could exist in a variety of forms and environments. However, the leap from the existence of extraterrestrial life to the idea that such beings have visited Earth is a much larger and more contentious one. Most scientists remain skeptical of claims of past extraterrestrial visitation due to the lack of concrete evidence. So Manath's statement has sparked a wide range of reactions. Supporters of the idea of extraterrestrial visitation have welcomed his openness to the possibility, seeing it as a validation of their views from a respected scientific figure. On the other hand, skeptics have cautioned against lending credibility to ideas that lack empirical support, warning that such statements could undermine the rigor of scientific inquiry. For the Indian Space Research Organization and the broader space community, Somanath's comments may serve as a reminder of the importance of curiosity and the willingness to explore unconventional ideas. Following Somanath's statement regarding the possibility of extraterrestrial visitation, a significant number of people praised him for his openness on a subject that is often met with skepticism or outright dismissal within the scientific community. His willingness to entertain the idea of past extraterrestrial visits to Earth, even as a speculative hypothesis, resonated with many who believed that such discussions should be part of mainstream scientific discourse. Somanath's approach was lauded for several reasons. First, it demonstrated intellectual humility a recognition that despite humanity's significant advancements in science and technology, there are still vast unknowns in the universe. By acknowledging the possibility of extraterrestrial visitation, Somanath opened the door to broader discussions about humanity's place in the cosmos and the potential for discovering life beyond Earth. Second, his statement was seen as a refreshing departure from the more conservative stances often taken by leaders in the space community. Rather than dismissing the topic of extraterrestrials as unscientific or fringe, Somanath treated it with the seriousness it deserves, recognizing that our understanding of the universe is still evolving and that we must remain open to new ideas and possibilities. In contrast, NASA, the premier space agency in the United States, has traditionally taken a more cautious and skeptical approach to the topic of extraterrestrial life, particularly when it comes to the idea of past or present visitations to Earth. While NASA has invested heavily in the search for extraterrestrial life, 
through missions to Mars, the study of exoplanets, and the search for microbial life in extreme environments, the agency has generally avoided direct engagement with questions about UFOs or unidentified aerial phenomena, which are often associated with extraterrestrial theories. NASA's cautious stance on the subject of extraterrestrials and UFOs is rooted in the agency's commitment to rigorous scientific methodology. In the eyes of NASA, any claims about extraterrestrial life or visitations must be backed by substantial evidence that can withstand the scrutiny of peer review and scientific validation. The agency's official position has been that while the search for extraterrestrial life is a worthy and important endeavor, there is currently no conclusive evidence to support the idea that extraterrestrials have visited Earth. This position is reflected in how NASA typically handles questions related to UFOs and extraterrestrial life. When asked about these topics, NASA officials often emphasize the importance of scientific evidence and the need to avoid jumping to conclusions based on anecdotal reports or unverified sightings. In many instances, NASA has downplayed or dismissed claims of extraterrestrial visitations, pointing to more mundane explanations such as natural atmospheric phenomena, experimental aircraft, or even hoaxes. The differing approaches between Somanath and NASA highlight a broader debate within the scientific community about how to handle topics that intersect with public interest, speculation, and the unknown. On one hand, there is a need to maintain scientific rigor and avoid sensationalism. On the other hand, there is also value in being open to discussions about topics that challenge our understanding and push the boundaries of current knowledge. Somanath's willingness to publicly entertain the possibility of extraterrestrial visitation can be seen as an invitation for a more open and inclusive dialogue on the subject. His statement suggests that the pursuit of knowledge should not be confined to what is currently provable, but should also include exploration of ideas that may one day lead to groundbreaking discoveries. This approach encourages interdisciplinary research and fosters a culture of curiosity and inquiry, which are essential for scientific progress. Moreover, Somanath's openness has the potential to inspire younger generations of scientists and researchers to think creatively and boldly about the universe. By acknowledging the mysteries that still exist and the questions that remain unanswered, Somanath reminds us that science is not just about what we know, but also about what we have yet to discover. Somanath's recent comments on the possibility of extraterrestrial visitation have brought a fresh perspective to a topic that has long been shrouded in mystery and skepticism. His willingness to engage with the idea, even as a speculative hypothesis, has been praised by many who believe that the scientific community should be more open to exploring the unknown. While NASA and other leading space agencies have traditionally taken a more cautious approach, emphasizing the need for rigorous evidence and scientific validation, Somanath's openness represents a call for a more inclusive and curious approach to the mysteries of the universe. His perspective serves as a reminder that the pursuit of knowledge requires not only evidence and skepticism, but also imagination and the willingness to entertain new ideas. As humanity continues to explore the cosmos, the conversation about extraterrestrial life and the possibility of past visitations will undoubtedly evolve. Samanath's comments have added an important voice to this conversation, encouraging a dialogue that bridges the gap between scientific skepticism and the excitement of discovery. Whether or not we ever find definitive proof of extraterrestrial life, Somanath's approach exemplifies the spirit of inquiry that drives us to look beyond the known and seek out the truths that lie hidden among the stars. The possibility of advanced extraterrestrial civilizations existing somewhere in the vast expanse of the universe has long fascinated scientists, philosophers, and the general public alike. Given the incredible distances between stars, not to mention between galaxies, one of the most intriguing questions is how such civilizations, if they exist, might travel to Earth. While current human technology limits us to slow and inefficient methods of space travel, an advanced civilization, perhaps thousands or even millions of years ahead of us, might possess technologies far beyond our understanding. One of the most popular and scientifically grounded theories for faster-than-light travel is the concept of a warp drive, inspired by the theory of general relativity. In essence, a warp drive would allow a spacecraft to move faster than light by bending or warping space-time around it. Instead of moving through space, the ship would compress space in front of it and expand space behind it, 
effectively surfing a wave of space-time. This method, theoretically, could allow a ship to cover vast distances in a short amount of time without violating the laws of physics as we currently understand them. The concept of a warp drive was first popularized by the physicist Miguel Alcubierre, who proposed a theoretical model where a spacecraft could achieve faster-than-light travel by manipulating space-time. However, this model requires an exotic form of matter with negative energy density, something that has not yet been observed or created. An advanced civilization, however, might have discovered or harnessed such exotic matter, enabling them to travel to Earth by creating their own warp bubbles. This would allow them to traverse the vast distances between stars and galaxies without being limited by the speed of light. Another theoretical possibility for interstellar travel involves wormholes, or Einstein-Rosen bridges. Wormholes are hypothetical tunnels through space-time that could connect two distant points in the universe, effectively creating a shortcut. If a civilization could create or stabilize a wormhole, they could potentially travel vast distances in an instant, moving from one side of the universe to the other. The idea of wormholes arises from solutions to Einstein's field equations in general relativity. These solutions suggest that if wormholes exist, they could connect two separate points in space-time. However, like warp drives, the creation or stabilization of a wormhole would require exotic matter with negative energy. Additionally, there are questions about the stability of wormholes and whether they could be kept open long enough for anything to travel through them. For an advanced civilization, however, these challenges might already have been overcome. They might possess the technology to create stable, traversable wormholes, allowing them to reach Earth from a distant part of the universe in the blink of an eye. This would not only make interstellar travel possible, but also allow them to explore and interact with multiple regions of the universe simultaneously. If faster-than-light travel is not possible, an advanced civilization might resort to generation ships, enormous spacecraft designed to sustain life for hundreds or even thousands of years. These ships would carry entire populations across the galaxy, with multiple generations living and dying during the journey. The descendants of the original crew would eventually reach their destination. Generation ships would require extremely advanced technology, particularly in the areas of life support, food production, and social stability. The ship would need to be a self-sustaining environment, capable of recycling resources indefinitely and maintaining a stable population over many generations. While the journey would be long by human standards, an advanced civilization might have the patience and resources to embark on such a mission. Upon arrival, the inhabitants of the generation ship could establish a colony on Earth or interact with our civilization. Although this method of travel is slower than the others discussed, it is within the realm of possibility given our current understanding of physics and engineering. An advanced civilization could feasibly build such ships and undertake interstellar colonization, reaching Earth after a long but steady journey across the stars. Another speculative method of travel involves teleportation, not in the sense of beaming people from one place to another as popularized by science fiction, but rather using principles of quantum entanglement. Quantum entanglement is a phenomenon where two particles become connected in such a way that the state of one particle instantly affects the state of the other, regardless of the distance between them. This spooky action at a distance, as Einstein called it, suggests the possibility of instantaneous communication or transfer of information across vast distances. If an advanced civilization could harness quantum entanglement on a macroscopic scale, they might be able to instantaneously transport matter or information across the universe. This form of teleportation would require a deep understanding of quantum mechanics and the ability to manipulate quantum states on a large scale. While this concept is purely speculative, it represents a radical departure from conventional ideas of travel and could offer a means for an advanced civilization to reach Earth without physically traversing the space in between. Another possibility involves advanced propulsion systems that use light or other forms of energy to accelerate spacecraft to near-light speeds. For example, a concept known as a light sail involves a spacecraft propelled by the pressure of photons from a laser or the sun. While this method does not allow faster-than-light travel, it could theoretically enable a spacecraft to reach a significant fraction of the speed of light. An advanced civilization might develop highly efficient light sails or other propulsion methods 
allowing them to send probes or even manned missions across the galaxy. By traveling at near-light speeds, they could reach Earth in a few decades or centuries, depending on the distance. Although this is slower than the other methods discussed, it remains within the bounds of known physics and could be a feasible means of interstellar travel for an advanced civilization. As of right now, the question of how advanced civilizations could travel to Earth from different points in the universe opens up a world of possibilities that challenge our current understanding of physics and technology. Whether through warp drives, wormholes, generation ships, quantum teleportation or advanced propulsion systems, these civilizations might possess methods of travel that are as unimaginable to us as our technology would have been to humans a thousand years ago.